time mosses are another special type of moss. Because unlike some mosses, which don't really animate very much, time mosses produce this amazing animation where the leaves crumple as they dry out as they prepare for the future arrival of water. This happens in different ways. I've also scanned time mosses in sand which holds water for a long time. This means that you can actually see them growing. To my knowledge, this is the first time this has ever been filmed. So take a look at these brief but fascinating instances of leaves growing and unfurling. Mosses create intricate ecosystems that harbor an amazing amount of macroscopic and microscopic animals. Take a look at these shots of small animals going about their business before they, well, unfortunately die. I would love to see the microscopic animals like water bears, which are well known for their ability to withstand extremes, even being able to come back from space alive. Here's a snail. This is a velvet spider mite, a gorgeous arachnid. Mites are also arachnids and are commonly seen among mosses. Look at this one feasting on a lichen. Here are some mites that fall out of the mosses only to spin around on the scanner glass. Here's ant larvae. I'm pretty sure this is a spider laying eggs. Crumpling animation of the leaves is even more interesting when you see many mosses drying out in concert. Here's another common feature of mosses, a small naked bishop's cat plant. Take a look at this fern moss. and this conifer seedling which has managed to eke out a living in the nutrient-poor moss habitat.
Now this is truly amazing. Mosses disperse their spores from sporophytes, and here you can see them very subtly opening. 